Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here and today I'm going to explain to you guys how you can actually go about getting the Thorn Bounty in the Rise of Iron just a little bit easier. So let's just jump right on into this guide today guys. Now the only real reason that I'm making this video is because a lot of people have been messaging me asking me how I got my Thorn and how I went ahead and got the bounty. Now I'm not really too sure if this is a guaranteed thing that works but this is what I used on a lot of my characters in order to get the Thorn Bounty really quickly and it actually only took me like two tries so I'm not really too sure if this is like 100% foolproof or not now this definitely did work for me and a few of my friends and this is actually a very old method even back from year one thorn and it's the same method that I used back then to get the bounty and it's somehow still working out to today so I definitely do think that this definitely works to some extent and it does have a little bit of luck still involved with it but it definitely does increase your chances just a little bit now all you guys have to do in order to get this thorn bounty in the Rise of Iron is at least just go through the Rise of Iron storyline to the point where you unlock the Shiro bounties. Now although the thorn isn't only going to drop from the Shiro bounties, you can get it from Vanguard and Crucible bounties as well. You do want to make sure you have the Shiro bounties as that is what me and my friends have found out will drop the bounty the most often. All three of my friends that have done this method as well have also gotten their bounty from the Shiro bounty. So I would just go ahead and make sure you have those Shiro bounties unlocked. Now, you want to go ahead and pick up all the Shiro bounties that you guys can. But once you pick up all the Shiro bounties, you want to also make sure that you pick up all the Crucible bounties you guys can. And a couple of Vanguard bounties as well. You, you just want to try and fill up all 16 of your bounty slots with as many bounties as you can. And it, just make sure that the Shiro bounties are in there somewhere. Now, once you guys have all your bounties, it's really going to depend on what day it is and what kind of bounties you guys got. But generally, all you guys really need to do is just go and complete all the bounties that you can. You want to complete all the Vanguard Crucible bounties, just whatever you guys end up picking up. And then lastly, you want to go ahead and complete your Shiro bounties. Now, once you have all of your bounties completed, including your Shiro bounties, you should have... You don't necessarily need to have all 16 completed, I know that does take quite a bit, but the more you have completed, the more of a chance that you will get at the Thorn. So if you're really getting unlucky, or you just really want to make sure that you get it, you definitely want to make sure that you have as many bounties finished at the same time as you possibly can. Now, once you have all the bounties completed, you want to try to put the Shiro bounties towards the end. Now, that's not really necessary, but you do want to pop them last, at least. So what you need to do from here, once you've completed all of the bounties that you can, is just go ahead and open them all. But make sure that you open them all at the exact same time. You want to just go into your inventory and just spam all of your bounties until they all are completed, including your Shiro bounties. Now, I'm not really too sure why this works so well, but a couple of my friends did this, and they got Thorn on their second tries. And it's really awesome because you can do this on all three of your characters each week. So that will give you somewhere around 48 chances at getting the Thorn bounty. Now, because of the fact that you're popping so many bounties at the same time, I feel like it actually does do something to the RNG and it does seem to want to give out the Thorn Bounty a little bit more because it sees that you're completing so many bounties and then it will somehow like trick the system a little bit and just think that it's time to give you the Thorn Bounty just because you've done so many bounties at the same time and that's why it increases your chances at actually getting the drop and this is the exact method that me and a couple friends used in order to get our Thorn Bounties even back in year one. So all you really need to do for this whole entire method is just get all of the bounties you can possibly completed from the Vanguard and the Crucible as well as Shiro and then you just need to complete them and pop them all at the same time now this like I said I don't know if this is a guaranteed foolproof method in order to get the bounty but this is the method that me and a few friends used in order to get Thorn very quickly in only about a week and a half on both of our characters we just would run in the bounties we wouldn't even run all 16 one time I got the Thorn bounty on one of my characters I'd only run three bounties but because I popped them all at the same time I managed to get it on the third bounty that I popped and I do know on one of my other characters, when I popped about 14 bounties all at the same time, I ended up getting that around my 7th or 8th bounty. So, like I said, I'm not too sure if this 100% does work, like this is going to just guarantee you a Thorn bounty. But I pretty much can say it's a really good method, because I did do this on a few of my characters already, even this year, and back in year 1. Hopefully this little method does help you guys to get your Thorn bounties. I know that there's a lot of people right now in Crucible running around with it. It is a little annoying, although it's still a bit underpowered. But I know a lot of people are trying to get the Thorn at least, and especially for the book completion, and just because it's just such a cool and iconic weapon. So hopefully this little method did help you guys to get your Thorn Bounties. If it did, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're not already for future Destiny guides. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.